Welcome to Tutu to Show today, and I'm here with uh, Tisa. <laughs> I like I, that part. I have, I have to learn that part very well. Okay, my name is Will, and this is Tisa. And where's the Atishania again? Atishania, but not. I thought you were going to try at least this well, time. <laughs> well, okay, one day I'll do it very well. Okay, uh, thank you very much for joining us today on our show, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Uh, we've had fun in the last week. Um, we went to the food, yes. the cuisine, we've been on it for a while now and uh, we've done the, say the fashion shoot as well as the makeup. makeup what shoots. else did we do? I can't remember. Uh, we also went to Charleston, Kwetu oh, Gardens. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice Kwetu Gardens, yeah, right. There. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good people, you want to do uh, car wash Yes. and you also want to chill out nice. with the car wash uh, whilst you're having your car, um, you know, done. Um, there's a cocktail bar. There's a bar. cocktail bar. Is a cocktail bar? It's a regular food bar or something. Yeah, a cocktail bar. Okay. A regular bar, a cocktail bar. Right. Place where you can nice environment. Chill. And even football next door. Yes. I enjoyed that too. Um, yeah, very cool environment. We met some really nice people there. Mm -hmm. And um, good food. Good food. I had, um, what did I, I had fish, bread. I had lovely. It was, go and try it yourself, honestly. It's brilliant. Good guys there. And it's where Charleston. Charleston, yes. Um, I need to get the address for you. Go on our website and you should find it right there. Yep. Okay. Also, if you want more details about it, just stay tuned. We have a video footage for it. That's right. And we'll take you around and you have a feel of the space just as we we were there. Wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and I'm so pleased because we're getting our drinks here, sir. So please, <laughs> thank you very much. That's our host today, Le Petit Paris, on Greatest Road, and um, you should visit them. Excellent service, excellent place to have your drinks, um, lunch, or something. Um, I, I don't know about viewers there, but I tend to be a anti too much alcohol, <laughs> so it's a good place that we don't have alcohol. Um, and uh, I, I really like their menu. I like everything about it. It's a nice place for me to chill out. Mm -hmm. Business meetings, you cannot go wrong. If I want to go to the other side of the spectrum, maybe we do Dakapo next time. Yes. Dakapo is one of our, uh, our sponsors as well. They are, you know, brilliant place to chill out with your nice drink and so on. So yes, when do you chill out, Otisa? For me? Yeah, we've well, never actually... Firstly, <laughs> let me just put it out there that I've been wanting to come here for the longest time. Wow, okay. So I'm very excited to be here. I love coffee, so... Coffee? Yes. Uh, don't try mine. This is my coffee. Look, this is the only place I actually get my favorite coffee, and it's Frappuccino. Mm. Frappuccino is one of those drinks I found um, some time ago. I, I stumbled on it in, well, out of Zambia. Um, and I stumbled on it, and it kept me awake the whole day. Okay. <laughs> so I only drink frappuccino if I want to be awake the whole day for 24 hours. It's a very nice drink. Come to uh, Le Petit Paris. You cannot miss it. It's across showground. I mean, it's a nice little place, but with surprisingly nice environment. Yeah. Um, I wish we could do a feature of this place. Want. In fact, we'll do that. We'll do it. We'll do that. Let me take a gulp or a sip of my frappuccino. <laughs> so, mm. <laughs> coffee lovers, <laughs> business meeting, this is really the place to be. And for today, we're here to also talk about uh, the people that we met in the past week. And so many talented people, and we're seeing people who were uh, monetize their, their skills. Mm. So, we can give an example of uh, faith. The makeup artist. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That I thought she was really talented. I mm. thought she was absolutely. That's Faith. Does beats? Yes, Faith beats. How faith. did she get that name? Uh, faith <laughs> beats. Look, I thought she came. The product was. The girls came out really well. Mm. I mean, I, I I don't know much about makeup, but you know, they came out really well. Yeah. Um, you should visit her if you want to. We did a feature on her, right? Yes, we did. It'll be on one of our segments very soon. And it'll probably be on social media as well. Yes. Right. Okay, so keep in touch. Our phone number is 076345 If you want to call about anything, um, 
we'll be happy to guide you. And our website is very simple. <laughs> UtuntuZamgazin.com Okay, and Facebook as well, YouTube, we're all there. Mm. Instagram, okay? Yeah, yeah. So we have so many exciting videos from the past week that will be put up on our YouTube channel as well as all our social media, that's Facebook, Instagram. So feel free to engage with us, feel free to interact with us. And for this month as well, I'm not going to reveal it now, we have exciting, you remember last month there was chocolate? Yep. There were yep. so many things, I mean, just a few weeks ago. So we have more coming up. So we just want to encourage you to engage with us, feel free. It's a place to share, it's a place to have fun. So just feel free to engage with us, follow us, Get in touch with us if you have anything, any ideas, any places you want us to go to. If just, you want to join us as well, excellent, feel excellent. free to get in touch yeah, with please us. Please get in touch. Uh, we are looking for different areas of um, um, well, offering internship, offering opportunities for people in the sector. Uh, but one of the things that we wanted to talk about today is about capacity building, employability skills, um, entrepreneurial skills as well. So what we're saying here is, in our own little way, we want to contribute to building the capacity of the youth, yes. the economy. You know, it's everyone suffering from the impact of COVID-19, and um, even we are. So I mean, can you imagine? I had some people sharing my sweets with me, chocolate. <laughs> Tisa, here, yeah, took some. Other people took. I wanted the box myself. Um, but if you missed that one, we're still getting some more deals yeah. coming up soon. Um, so we want to focus this time around on just kind of hinting a bit about capacity building. Yes. Um, what is capacity building? Everybody needs to build their capacity in a way. Uh, it could be you're doing something now, uh, you need to increase the number of I mean, sources of revenue. In a way, you need to increase your ability to um, do the things you want to do, those side hustles, like they call them. Yeah. Um, that's one thing. But it also talks about entrepreneurship skills as well. I'm no expert at this, but I know that if you want to build your entrepreneurship skills, yeah. there's certain things you need to be aware of, certain skill set you must have. Um, and I think if you read our magazine, the next publication coming out, or you engage with us on social media, you ask questions, we will give you tips, we will give you what we have researched, certain things which might be able to help you to move from where you are to the next stage. Yes, yes. Okay? And there's another thing I want to say, sorry, you know, <laughs> employability skills. Because just in case you don't want to do um, business, or you don't want to go into business, you might be looking for jobs. Mm -hmm. One of the things I found out whilst just snooping around, researching here and there, is that there are certain things you need to ways to find jobs. Not just find the job, but also keep the job. There's a way you can present yourself for interviews. There's a way you can even apply for the job. And you need not be a job in Zambia. It can be overseas. Guess what? You do not have to travel overseas to get a job oh. and still work overseas. Really? Technically, yeah. Okay. I remember we did the first contract, we worked for a Swiss firm and they paid very well. And I was in Lusaka <laughs> working for a <laughs> So um, stay tuned to us, yes. social media. I That's where that. it is. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, like, like he has said, you know, there's so many people getting into, into entrepreneurship now and then we're getting to see a trend where a peop, someone starts a business and it dies after a few months, which really shouldn't be the case. Mm. People do have great ideas, but you need, like you said, good capacity. You need to learn certain skills to be able to thrive and grow and just have a sustainable business. Not mm. today I'm doing, today I'm selling bags, tomorrow I'm selling dresses, the other day I'm doing tomatoes. So it's like I'm a startup for two years. So stay tuned, we're going to have lessons and tips and for some they're going to have opportunities to be trained in some of these things mm -hmm. and as well as in, in just say no, this, yeah, <laughs> skills. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes skills. That no. as well. Absolutely. So for those entrepreneurship is not for everyone. No. Same as the uh, being employed. Yeah. It's so 
that to skills, how which skills are marketable, or how well would you I position like that. Marketable, yourself? Yeah. Yes. Marketable, yeah. Because then it's not just everything. I mean, you have to know uh, with what what skills you have, what can you add on to be put yourself out there, how you put yourself, how you package yourself really well. So we're here for it. It's not just fun places, but we're also here to we teach. We like to have fun, yeah. <laughs> you know, we want to be happy yeah. with what we do. Um, it's all about really having fun, and most importantly, one of the tips I found was, in order to succeed, you have to be passionate about what you do, mm. and you also have to learn to enjoy it. You know, I, I, I really... I really admired some of the work that I've read about Steve, late Steve Jobs, uh, Zuckerberg, um, uh, even Bill Gates, and most of the guys who make a lot of money. I, I mean, I don't know if money is your thing, but most of the people who are succeeding, mm -hmm. and I'm saying that on purpose, not every success is not only about money. Yes. Sometimes it's just being able to afford everything you want without necessarily going out there and buying the whole world. You know, some people say that's money, but if I can eat three times a day and I can afford my frappuccino at Le Petit Paris, <laughs> you know, that's fine. Um, but some other people want to eat caviar and all that exotic food and do all those things. I don't know. Success. <laughs> that's success. Your different definition, but you must always enjoy it. Yes. So at Utuntu, we want to enjoy having to have fun with other people mm -hmm. in everything we do. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we're not that rich, but we'll get there. We'll get so, there. Okay. We'll be that successful career. Uh, <laughs> follow us and we'll probably share with you. Mm -hmm. We shared our chocolates, by the way. We did, right? We did. We did. I promise we did. <laughs> we have the winners. They show it. They, we featured the winners on social media. Yes. They're yes. all there. Uh, so there's evidence that what we do, what we say we will do, we do we it. We do it. Okay. Um, so over the next few episodes, I guess, we will try to bring in features about people who have made it in their own way. Yes. In business. Look, we're not interested too much about people, are we? People who have who have so big. No, we want no. the guys, the unsung heroes. Yes. Yeah. So um, stay tuned to us. We will also begin to tell you a bit more about some businesses you need to actually go and help out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and we're going to come up with a fantastic show. In should I tell them property? I've told you now. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let me cut out of the bag. I'm sorry, but look. We're going to be covering quite a wide range of subjects. The only thing we don't want to get into is politics <laughs> and religion. It's too sensitive for us and, um, and it's very personal. Okay, so, but every other thing we're going to talk about. Yes, yes. Whether it's my dress sense, which they say I don't have, doesn't matter. Or Tisa, who is the fashion guru, I don't know. Or the cameraman or woman <laughs> yes. who's laughing <laughs> at the moment. Uh, One day, the cameraman or woman will sit here. So the cameraman or woman knows what it feels like to be on this side of the fence. <laughs> um, but anyhow, we hope you enjoy our company. We always enjoy being on the show. And I've never done this before. I only just started. Same here. Same. So <laughs> we want to introduce everybody to something new. Um, hopefully you enjoy it and um, we want to hear from you we're begging to hear from you why not mm, you know? don't be shy at all <laughs> okay easiest way to reach us on whatsapp or on by telephone pick up your phone call text us whatsapp it's zero seven six three four five seven two double seven okay that's Tisa. My name is Will, and um, could be somebody else tomorrow sitting here. But never mind. We're still the same family. Is it too? too. So um, what say it, Atishanya? <laughs> say it, say it, say it. So Atishanya, oh. so it. today was basically just really casual and. Also, one thing that you should look out for, we're not going to say the date yet, please don't say the date. Uh, no, it's okay. I'm going to, to say the date for our launch. It's going to be big, it's going to be awesome. For some of you who made it to our pre-launch, which was last year, yeah. we're going to have the big launch, the eat, eat thing. So just 
be on the lookout you might just stand a chance to be there and win something that is yep. coming it is going to be big there's so much that we have in stock so subscribe interact with us and just always be on the lookout you never know what's going you actually hit the us. nail on the head mm -hmm. subscription you need to go and subscribe and let us know that you are interested in being one of our invited guests mm -hmm. to our big launch um, you will hear about it shortly it's going to be coming out soon we're packaging the whole thing together mm -hmm. so go to instagram that's key and um you know follow there like share those are the things that you will would use to qualify our next um our next uh, invited guests yes. okay a special invited guests i mean you had fun the last time if you were there but this time around it's going to be bigger yeah okay um, can I just sneak in something quickly? No problem. Okay, so I let the cat out of the bag about a property show. Um, that's almost done now. But I'm saying to you now that if you're looking for a property or you are selling a property or you anything, land, house, commercial, private, we've got a fantastic deal for you. I don't want to let it out too much, but we've got such a fantastic deal that it's too good to refuse, honestly. Um, and we're going to be collaborating with some of the biggest names in the market. We're going to be giving you access to some of the best properties available, affordable ones, and it's all going to be, if you like, on us, okay? Um, we're going to take out the stress from the whole exercise um, as much as possible and uh, hopefully you like it. So if you're interested in hearing more about it, please give us a call on 076-345-7277 or go get in touch with Utuntu on um, utuntuzamgazine.com, register and um, we'll send you details. Okay, um, entrepreneurial skills, employability skills, capacity building, We've got tips for you. It'll be in the magazine, the next one. Get in, engaged with us and um, register to be, a, you know, sent the next free copy. It's, it's free of charge, no cost at all to you. And uh, we will also try to feature some of the names, examples of people who have made it successfully in one business or the other. Yes. Okay? We talked about the beauty. Yes. We've talked about the nails. We talked about, um, who else was it? There was a food, food as well, food, yeah, I hear the that. The restaurants. The restaurants. Car wash. Car wash. Yeah. Um, we've also got someone uh, in, uh, he's coming up soon, is Moti. Moti yeah? Solutions. Okay. Um, lending money, and I yes. think he also does uh, digital training as well. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have, like, people who have made a you know, millions or zillions of, of kwacha. We, we're, 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 we're trying to encourage people who are starting out as well and have made a success out of it. Yes. And then they want to tell us how they made it so it can encourage everybody. Okay? All right. So that's it. That's yeah. it for yeah. now. Okay. I'm about to enjoy my emotion. I'm going to enjoy mine too. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us today. Please, 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 and I say please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, and interact with us. We have so much more that's coming. So you can see at Shania for this. I'm going to try at the Shania for That's it from us. This Thank you very much. The Magazine Talk Show. See you next time. Please tell us. My name is Faith 
number four. And I Do you wanna start again? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, just keep it keep it running. They're gonna cut it, cut it anyway okay. and edit it so it can go on as you can say what she what she do, what she does and I'm gonna keep this for you to flow. Okay. Is that you just that? Okay. Good morning and welcome to Utuntu's Amazing Talk Show. Today we are at Faith Beach Makeup and Cosmetics. Right here is the CEO herself. So I'm gonna let her introduce herself, tell us more about herself and what she does. So take the show. Hello, my name is Faith Hamafour and I'm the owner of Faith Beat. And I am so happy to be here. Okay. We're happy to have you here as well. Thank you for making time. This lady is very busy. It was really, really hard for us to just squeeze us in her schedule. So thank you very much for having us. So we'd like to know more about you, your names, your full names. It's fake, your, your name. Your name. <laughs> <laughs> so then you would like to know more your name, where you come from, and why did they give you the name fake? Like, tell us more. Okay, so I'm from the Copper Belt. Obviously, I am not from that side generally because I'm Tonga. So my parents are from Mazabuka, but um, mostly all my entire life I've been on the Copper Belt. I only came here for school when I came to do my law degree. So um, my name, I have no idea why they gave me that name. <laughs> I really have no idea. I must ask my dad. I must ask my dad. So, so you have a law degree. You studied law? Yes, I did. At the University of Lusaka. Hmm. Did you do any work related to that before this? Yes, I did. I did a compliance and regulatory at Vodafone and also contract drafting, just some legal work here and there. I still do it from time to time. Mm -hmm. Like right now, I'm working with CGM, but it's very part time because I like to do this full time. So, because you know, I can't have enough. Um, money stream, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. doing something all the time. No, that is so good, it's so rare. I mean, that is very corporate. Like that is gray suits, black suits, yeah, corporate. Yeah. So that is such a that is such a shift. So what made you change from, or rather, start go full time makeup artist and doing your own thing from being in a corporate world? That is so rare. Okay, I think for me it's the whole um, journey. It became a bit exhausting, even though like, I always just did it for like three years, but I think it became a bit of like a burden. Like I must always wake up in the morning, go and please my boss. Hi, I'm really good at this job. Please keep me. Hi, please promote me. Hi, please increase my salary. Yeah. And I had like, like this talent. So I just thought, why not just try this out? So I began part time until one day I just said, I'm just going to do it full time. So yeah. I think I got tired of trying to make everybody happy in the office. Good morning, good morning. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> Have a good day. But then, you know, it's, it's too much. That's, that's too much. No, no, that was important. It was fun, but it's too much. No, oh, yeah, yeah. And most people would be terrified to start from scratch when you have something that good going on and you have a degree and they look at the four years. Yeah, I know, I know. Sorry, Dan. Mine was uh, quite a lot. So. Yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine. So, but how has been the journey so far? What, what are the fun? What's the fun part of doing makeup as compared to being in the corporate world? Tell us more. How's, how's, how's it been? Okay, so I'm already a creative. I've always been creative as mm -hmm. far back as primary since I was young. So I think I love doing this so much because I really get to explore and try out different things. Mm -hmm. I even turn people into like darker skin tones just for music videos. I can do artistic colors and faces. It's just the whole creativity, the whole using your mind, using your creativity, your your humor, your just your exploration. So I just love the fact that I can create and I can always feel proud like, oh my god, I did that. So it makes me so happy. Yeah, makeup is a lot of creativity. I can't, I can't even do it. <laughs> One eyebrow. <laughs> yeah, well, we should start, uh, I'm going to sign up for a class one of these days. Please, 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 mm -hmm. we do tutorials, so okay. I got you. The tutorials. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm definitely signing up. So, you, you mentioned you grew up uh, in the Copper Girls. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Did you, did you have siblings? Do you, do you have any siblings? Do you have like, I have about nine siblings. It's a very big family. So I grew up on the copper belt, but 
most of them are now here in Osaka because they leave school or they've relocated. So most of my sisters are here. So basically, my family is here now. Only mom and dad are back home. So we just gonna move. There's nothing happening in Kitwe really. <laughs> Kitwe is just slow. <laughs> so I don't think I would really be happy being there for a long time as well. Okay. I like to run away. <laughs> I think just do it, just start, just do something about it. If you love something, try it out. If it fails, at least you know you tried. You better off trying as opposed to completely ignoring the talent thing and oh my god, I'd rather have medical insurance being given by a company because it's comfortable. But the comfort zone is always where dreams go to die. So you might have so much talent, you might make money out of it, or might just be happy or be fulfilled. But if you don't do it and keep saying no, I need to get medical insurance, I need to get a pay at the end of the month. It's just going to keep you closed in and you know life is short so you cannot do things that make you unhappy oh, that is that is so profound so you heard it viewers life is too short do what <laughs> makes you happy go after those dreams i mean look at her she left the corporate <laughs> corporate <laughs> i go there sometimes you go babe right here so don't leave it yourself and as usual, for more information about her, about what she does, visit her social media, keep on following us at Utuntu. You never know, you might just stand a chance to have a face done by her. And she does great stuff, believe me. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, invite your friends. You never know what we might have next for you. So is there anything else you'd like to say to people watching out there? I think I said it all. <laughs> I think I probably said it all. Just do what you want to do. Be happy. Just do not be unhappy in this life. You might die tomorrow. Don't be that. for you. It's true though. But for you, that's very inevitable. So just be happy while you have this small period. Next thing you're 40, next thing you're 50, and you're too tired to do anything. So yeah. you can't start exploring makeup artistry in your 50s and you're like maybe i can draw eyebrows in my 50s right? <laughs> okay but anyway that is thank you so much i had so much fun and did i yeah so i can't wait to get my first time as well but thank you so much for tuning in this is utuntu's magazine's talk show meet us here same place same time at shanyapo Chiwe, Teresa, Ekiyo. Okay, Chiwe, right? Yes, yes. right. Right. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. Can you please tell us more about yourself, where you grew up? Um, I was born in Nigeria, but I've lived all my life here in Zambia. I came here when I was 15 years, late 40s, <laughs> and I've been here ever since. Of course, I do go home and come back. In as much as Zambia is my home, Zambia is my second home. I should always be, be home. Yes, I've been here for 31 years now. Yes. 
Um, I went to Lepa too, secondary school. Mm -hmm. When I completed, even before I completed, I developed interest in cooking. So I didn't want anything else but anything, everything to do with cooking. So I ended up going to Fairview Hotel, where I did a one-year food production. After that, I went on to do um, a three-year course, that's a diploma in hotel management. After that, I went to Zamim as well. I did a diploma in marketing. And here we are. It's a lot of school yes. right there. <laughs> it's a whole package. Yes. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Um, when did you start actually? Um, well, I started the restaurant since 11 years now, 2009. That was when we started. And when we opened, everyone was like excited because it's the first Nigerian restaurant ever in Zambia. Everybody was coming, it was busy. The first six, one year, it was like, wow. Then after a year, <laughs> Everything just like people like they had enough, so business became slow. Even sometimes, yeah. if we have 10 15 people, we'll be happy. But then I never gave up because cooking is my passion. I continued perseverance, determination, focus. We continued managing, managing. Even then, the quality of the food we have now compared to then. It wasn't as good as what it is today. So, but we continued. I continued, I continued, I continued. And now we are. Now, everybody's talking about Festival in Nigeria. So it wasn't easy, but once you're focused and you have passion for what you do and you're determined, definitely surprise the limit. And that's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Perseverance, right? Yes. Yeah. Not imagine what that is like. I mean, yes. having yes. to have you know, it. Just focus. Just yeah. focus. Yeah. And know what you want and go for it. Yes. <laughs> so, other than having such a good time, is there anything else that you're going to do? Like, what do you do here? Where do you get to be? Okay. Well, I'm a born again Christian. I, I, if I'm not at church, actually, before I started this shop, I used to sell shoes and clothes, clothes from Nigeria and shoes from the US and Canada. So, yes, in fact, it was the money I raised from selling shoes and Nigerian attire that, you know, opened this shop for me, yes. But then I haven't really been doing that because I've been overwhelmed with the business here. And then, apart from that, we are trying to expand. I'm trying to expand the business and grow it. Zambia. So basically for now it's just the cooking and working on strategies to keep marketing and do the expansion. Yes. Yes. Thank you. 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 The key word here is passion for what you do. You have to identify where your strength lies, what you're very good at, and then go for it. You don't look at people and say, this person is driving a nice car, she's smart, or she's cooking, let me go into cooking. No. Or you must do something. You know, there's what we say, calling. We are all born, you know, we all have different callings and all that. So you must do something that you know that you're very good at. And just continue. For even if you fall, stand up, continue, continue. Because I would have given up. For instance, a lot of people have opened their Nigerian restaurant, you know, but most of them, and I can count about four, they started and then they close within a year because it's not easy. That is why it's important to go for what you are good at, passion for what you have. So, whatever you want to do, just know, make sure it's something that you know you can be able to, to do, no matter the blocks on the way, just something that no matter what, you still, you know, do, be able to do it and go for it. So it's passion, determination, focus, and of course, um, perseverance. And the rest will be history. The sky, in it. <laughs> Yeah. So, where do you think you feel about things? Um, the next 10 to 5 years, I would like to have festivals all across the country, yes. including in Malawi. <laughs> yes, yes. I would like to, everywhere you go in Zambia, even the neighboring countries, Malawi, Zimbabwe, I would like to hear festivals 
Yes. Okay. Quick question, though. How did you come up with the name Tasty Pie? Because before I even went to Catering School to do cooking, I used to cook very nice, tasty meal. <laughs> very tasty, delicious, finger licking food. So that's how the name Tasty Pie came about. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You've heard it, everyone. Perseverance is key, having something that you're passionate about and pursuing it regardless of the challenges that you, you will face. So I think from what I've heard so far, passion is really, really key. It is something that you really love. It helps when challenges come in. So thank you, thank you very much for having us. It was a tasty. And now I'm so excited when you say I'm going to have it everywhere. By God's grace, hopefully. By God's grace. Yes. Very, hopefully this month we are opening an athlete in Kampala. And before the end of the year, I don't know when, we will be in Kitwe and in Kampala. Yes. Kampala, yes. Yes. All right, thank yeah. you so yeah. much. That's it from us. Please do join us next week at the Tutu Dr. D Talk Show. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, as well as Instagram. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you for having me. Magazine talk show. My name is Tisa, and today we are at the Quetu Gardens here in Chelston. As you can see from the tour, the place is very beautiful, and right there we have a beautiful food truck, there's a car wash, we have a cocktail bar, and where I'm standing, this beautiful place under the lights. It is a restaurant area which is open up to like Tijuana, I hear. I can't wait to get more information from Jawulani, who is the manager of this beautiful place. So join me as we tour Ukwetu Gardens with Ukwetu Zambezi Talk Show.
Shania Po, it's a Tuntu Zamdazin talk show and today we are at Tasty Bite Nigerian restaurant here at Showgrounds Lusaka. I'm so excited to be here. It's my first time, like I said earlier, trying out Nigerian food. So yeah, this is my day to get that jollof rice. So come on now and let's see what they have to offer. So, okay, this one, we have, uh, here we have uh, plantain, egusi, it's the mix of cow trout, beef and skin goat meat. Uh, this is okra soup, it's the mix of uh, chicken, beef and uh, goat meat. Here we also have uh, vegetable soup, it's the mix of uh, beef and goat meat and also skin goat meat. Okay, here is Zambian beans, Nigerian beans. Also plain rice. Also have uh, fried goat meat and the boiled goat meat. This is a uh, here's the grilled fish. And also here we had the uh, beef stew. Now is done. Here is oak stew. And uh, here we have uh, pepper soup. Also boiled fish. And also here we have um, jerk rice and fried rice. Hi Jackson. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I can see you're enjoying your meal. Would you yes. mind telling me what this is? It's eba in the mother tongue. Okay. So we call it eba. Eba. This, eba, yes. Okay. This thing is made by cassava. cassava okay. Looks good. Very delicious. Mm. Because it's hot. Because it's hot. I'll come test it. And what is this one? It's good meat with a goosey soup. With a goosey soup. Okay, so it's goat meat only there. Yes, yes. Uh, Chicken, mm -hmm. skin, mm -hmm. house skin, yeah. Okay. We call it mama. Mama. I saw this good mama in a good season. And it's very nice. I need to try that one. You should try. Definitely. Shania Po, as you heard from Jackson, the food is amazing and I, ca I cannot wait to try it. But as you all know, I don't know about you, but where I come from, you only get to eat chicken <laughs> with vegetables. Like you can't eat chicken, beef, and sausage in one place. But here, they have it all in one pot and I can't wait to have a dish that has chicken and goat meat and he said cow skin mama in it so this is really exciting follow us for more beautiful places